Check out this project I finally finished. Hey Google, are you there? Of course I am. I'm always here for you whenever you need me. Help keep projects like this coming. Like and subscribe and become a patron on Patreon. I was really pleased when I figured out how to not have to remove the original speaker. I just took out three of the screws, pivoted it down, and then put a screw back in to hold it in place permanently. Then I could use the remaining two screws to attach the board that would be the mount for the Nest speaker. wanted to do this project for decades. In high school, I went with my family to a family friend's house. They had an antique radio with a modern radio inside it, and I thought it was really cool. My mom latched onto this, and she started going to flea markets to find some vintage radios. She found this one and another one just like it for my brother. I've wanted to complete this project ever since then, but only now has the technology gotten to the point where I'm happy with the end result. Having the Google Nest in there is the perfect way to do it. Part of my thought was that I wanted to have the original knob be the power control, but I didn't want to take apart the original machinery. I wanted to keep the whole thing intact. I wasn't really sure how to do it. Well, the fact that you can do voice control with Google Nest means I don't have to take any of the stuff out. Not only do I not have to take any of the original equipment out, but I was able to put the Nest close enough that the hand controls are still available. Hey Google, play some music. All right, music on Spotify. Here you go. So there you have it. It's a pretty easy project, didn't take much time at all, and you can make yourself a super cool modern era antique radio.